welcome. <laughs> Did you learn anything? Slide that in. this morning we had a tornado pass through Seymour Electric Service Area around Idalia in Circle City. We have 12 poles broken and we've got eight crews working on it currently and should have everything restored probably within about three hours. As soon as we saw the storm approaching this morning and getting ready to hit, we started activating our crews and calling people in to go to work. And after the storm had hit, we have what we call two-way feeds or double feeds on most of our main feeders. And we were able to restore services quickly and get it down to just having a handful off where we're at right now. Saving lives. Saving lives one pint at a time. 
uh, Nathan Eftink, our own Nathan Eftink, was able to do the double take. What was going on there? Platelets. Double Help me out. Double red. Double red. I don't even know what that means. It's two red cells. Two units. Right. Proof that I was in. Yeah. Yes. Right. Good. I'm not taking okay. it off. Looking okay. for a little sympathy at home tonight. Yep. Good luck there. <laughs> so blood is hitting the road for Cape. Then on to St. Louis. St. Louis, yes, sir. Right. And we'll see you guys later in the summer, hopefully at our Bloomfield facility. Maybe. All right. Sounds Not maybe, good. strong yes. Let's go with that. Angie, come in. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For Thank what you, you all do. Well, we appreciate it. We can uh, do it without you. Excellent. I mean, you know, we do. Love being a part. Yeah. Thank we you, guys. We don't have the donors. We can't do it. Oh, we don't have the donors. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Hello, we're here with GoSemo Fiber. We're setting the fiber sub, uh, fiber building at the Kelly substation. You got about three, three and a half, maybe four months. You'll start seeing the little fiber tap boxes going up on the pole. That means we're getting close. Get ready. Here we go. fiber building set for Kelly substation. Uh, this is basically an empty building uh, that came from a company in Iowa. Uh, these are used cell phone buildings that have been decommissioned and refurbished. Uh, this building, uh, a couple weeks from now, will house all the electronics for our fiber fast internet to the home. Uh, this is a pretty exciting big step for the Kelly area, the Kelly substation area. This will feed up to Ben down to Dealstad over to the north side of Charleston. So if you're seeing the trucks out in the area, uh, this is a good sign and a good thing to, uh, to be seeing, to have uh, Fire Professor Internet come to your house. Hey, this is Bart of GoSemo Fiber. The past two days, we've installed five businesses here in Sykeston, Missouri. Um, everybody's up and running. This is a successful install of GoSemo Fiber. This kicks off the beta testing that we're doing in Sykeston. We've done five so far, and we have 10 to go. This is another successful install of GoSemo Fiber. see you there. I'm intern Case and we're working to bring GoSemo fiber to homes and businesses in southeast Missouri. Hey I'm intern Corey and this is intern Katie. Have you seen that electric car driving through your neighborhood? Found one of these buckets on your front door? Well that's us trying to get the word out about fast fiber services. If you missed us in your neighborhood don't worry you can give us a call at 877 430-5418 or come visit us at the Old City Hall building in advance. You can help us spread the word by sharing our Facebook page or telling your other SEMO Electric friends about Go SEMO Fiber. We want to get everyone connected because if it's, it's not, not fiber, it's, it's not, not fast, fast enough. enough. We're going to have an open house uh, for our Lilburn substation build for Go SEMO Fiber. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, gosh, what day is it? The 5th. June 5th. Wow. It's been a day. And um, uh, Wednesday, 4 to 8. We're also going to be here Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So come by and see us. Uh, finish signing up if you've already started your sign up online. Uh, or just come by and fill out the paperwork and we'll help you get signed up. Uh, you can visit us at gosemofiber.com and 
come or, down and see us. <laughs> or call us at 877-430-5418. Stop by and say hi. Check on that. <laughs> yeah. Hi, stop by our Lilburn open house here at Kiwani. We'll be here to 8 o'clock tonight. We'll be back on Saturday from 10 to 6. Come find out about our fiber fast internet, crystal clear phone, and HD TV. Hey, didn't see you there. This is one of my favorite times of the year because I get to sign checks for high school students who are going to go on to further their education. These are $1,000 scholarship checks thanks to Operation Roundup that are going to go to high school students who are going to go on to trade schools, vocational schools, University of Missouri, Mississippi State, uh, Missouri State in Springfield, uh, SEMO and Cape Girardeau, a lot of different places. $77,000 is getting ready to go into the mail and to help students in our area. All thanks to SEMO Electric Cooperative's member owners who participate in Operation Roundup, which simply rounds up your bill each month. We appreciate your help, and uh, we look forward to seeing what these kids get to do in the future. Thank you. So come out and see us tomorrow at our Kiwani office. Uh, rain or shine, come get a bucket, fill it, let the rain fill it up if you want to. And just Friday afternoon, just on the back end of a big, big week, we, um, we just finally got through. Uh, Sean, if you don't care to let me see that. Um, this is our USDA grant, and it's really important to make these uh, folks aware how much we appreciate getting to be a part of this as a rural co-op, making lives better. And Sean's here writing some um, thank you notes, just kind of awareness notes. Uh, they're on the way to Senator Blunt's office, Congressman Smith, uh, Senator Josh Hawley, Governor Mike Parson, Caleb Jones at our AMEC headquarters, uh, Mr. Matt Bain out of uh, Mr. Blunt's office, uh, oh, Senator Hawley's office. And it's just really important that we get the word through making lives better through rural broadband. We're actually out here doing it, effectively putting those dollars on the street. And this USDA grant is gonna be a really big deal for us. Uh, we hope to hear some approval soon. And thank you folks for uh, helping us make lives better in rural Southeast Missouri.
We're here today to set the fiber building at Van Duzer. We had to set this building in order to get light to Kelly. As soon as we get Kelly completed, Van Duzer, you're next. We have to do Bell City and uh, New Hamburg and start picking up the rest of you. This is our GoSimo Wi Fi, uh, free Wi Fi for our Kiwani office. Uh, it's going to allow our members to come over here and get free, password free Wi Fi for everyone. And it's uh, almost done, so you guys should come check it out. big open house. We're joining up with the folks here at Shady Oak Market. The Troyers are going to have homemade donuts. It's always a win. win. We're going to be here for sign-ups and just kind of open up the Ardeola substation area service. The good folks here are going to stay open for us tomorrow, 4 to 7 on Thursday, right here on Highway 25 in Aquila. 
they've been nice enough to join with us for a big open house and a big event. Looking forward to it, right, Very Corey? Big event, yes, so excited. signing people up from 10 to 6 today or we can just answer any of your questions that you have about our fiber internet tv and phone um, we're doing some giveaways we've got four 25 dollars gift cards to gordonville grill here to give away so enter your name into a drawing enter your name to a drawing we also have some cool free stuff like these lanyards here we have some keychains little coin holders things like that we have our sign up sheet we have information here um, so it's going to be a lot of fun stuff today, so stop by. You can get you some good food at the Gordonville Grill and then come outside and see us here for all this stuff. I'll take this. Brenna, show them what else we've got going on over there. Um, over here we have a fun game with cornhole set up, so you should come out and grab some good food and just come and chill with us. Yeah. Come out with us today. It's going to be so much fun. We're so excited to see you guys here. Well, New Hamburg, we found part of the problem. Lots of tree damage this evening, folks. Of course, I ask you to stay clear of the power lines and trees down as you see them. We do have crews on site working just as hard as they can. Night, still about 16, 1800 customers out, um, scattered uh, just because of how broad the storm was. Um, when it, it hit, am. a lot of trees down, a lot of tree and big tree damage. So the results are big, um, broken poles, broken cross arms, a lot of wire down. Um, it's starting to get to where we're picking up a lot of lines, but still a lot of individual outages. Uh, some of these outages may go into about noon o'clock on Saturday just because of the extent of the damage on the main line as the main line comes up we find the individual outages so again if it gets to be mid-morning or so um, and you feel like calling back in please do let us know you're still out let us know if you see anything and it's, um, we're still going to be another 12-15 uh, hours out so uh, be sure to check in with us early and often Dogwood East Prairie area. Again, a lot of trees down just like up here in Scott City and over to Jackson. 
Uh, we do have crews, of course, 24 7, still doing their thing. Um, just a lot of tree damage, and can't emphasize enough another great example of this wire that is down coming to this house is still hot. <laughs> still hot, and um, looks like you're going to get an opportunity to pull some wire, ladies. But um, it, it's just a good example of just because the wire's down doesn't mean it's dead. And in this case, it was hot. It was getting run over in the road. And all due to a tree down, a pretty good sized tree. So um, maybe a um, uh, investment opportunity uh, by chainsaws. So um, seriously, just stay away from down trees, down power lines, and anything of the sort. Let us know come the morning and um, we'll get you back on as quick as we can and as safely as we can. Good morning. Last night, yesterday afternoon, we had storms rolling through. We had probably about 6,000 members that were without power. Um, we've had crews and staff that have worked all night long trying to restore everybody's power back for them and we've still got probably about 90 people left that we need to get turned back on we are working as quickly and safely as possible um, we do appreciate your patience working with us and all of your messages on Facebook encouraging us and thanking us for working so hard and we encourage you to please let us know if you're still without power you can send us a message on facebook or you can call back in to our phone number it's 1-800-813-5230 and we will be here to answer your calls until we get your power turned back on sorry we're tired thank you we appreciate you Sean here with SEMO Electric Cooperative. Just want to give you the last update of the outage. We've restored almost 6,000 outages since yesterday afternoon when the storm came through. Uh, we have a few outages left, but this will be our last update. We just want to say we appreciate our members' patience, but also the partners that we have that's working with us, Pike Energy, uh, our own team inside and outside. Uh, it's just been a long, it's been a long 24, working on 30 hours now that we've been up and uh, just appreciate everybody and their help and we hope the storms don't come through tomorrow but if they do we'll be ready for them again and again we just appreciate you being member owners and uh, supportive of the cooperative thank you Here behind me, the sirens are going off in the city of Sykes for tornadoes. Uh, we're not sure what's going to occur now, but we did have a lot of storm damage last night. Uh, we're just really hoping that we don't have to go through this again tonight. I just ask for your patience. Uh, we're sending a lot of our folks home right now to get a rest break because they've been going for uh, they've been going for quite a long time, and they need to have a little break, and then they'll get right back after it. Hi, this is Sean with SEMO Electric once again reporting to let you know that uh, we've opened up our emergency operations center. We have linemen out. Well, the weekend really never ended for our line crews. Even after most of Saturday was cleaned up, um, another system just came through. Um, ground is so saturated. Happened to be out at a place just north of Charleston, kind of out near the Buffalo Island area every attempt made uh, by way of the uh, track machine 
and the guys really trying every attempt to kind of get areas up along this uh, real swampy wreck ground. Again, folks, just always ask that you be safe. Give us plenty of room when you do see us, and hopefully we can get these last people restored from today's trouble. Hi, Simo. It's your interns here. We are happy to announce that tonight we'll be holding an open house from 1 to 7 at our Simo Electric Cooperative office. Right here. We'll have some arrows pointing you where to go, and we are here to answer any questions that you have about our fiber construction, fiber fast internet, HGTV, and crystal clear phone services. Some questions that we normally get about our services are that there's no installation fees, there's no data caps, and there's no contracts. So please, if it sounds too good to be true, please come to our open house so you can find out some more information. We're going to have some snacks and giveaways here at the open house tonight, and again, that time is from 1 to 7. If you have any questions, feel free to call us and come on out and see us.